Hi, I'm Don from Don Does Stuff. Yesterday, my 2023 Honda Pilot, which I absolutely love, threw a whole bunch of coats. Just driving down the road, normal speed, everything else fine. It threw, I think, every single coat in the book on the little display on the dash. So I'm gonna walk through the procedure I'm gonna use to see if I can clear those without having to have it towed. Check it out. So I'm lucky enough to have uh, a code reader. This thing here, it's from Autel. Uh, <laughs> this isn't a this isn't a commercial for Autel or anything, but I do happen to have it. Um, but basically, it consists of this device. There's a charging cable and instructions and stuff like that. And then there's a, a connector that connects between this device and your OBD, which I always call OCD. Uh, OBD is onboard diagnostics thing bob and i think the two is because it's better than the one so that's the connector and where you plug it in on the car is under your dash it's a white thing and it's right there on mine okay so one thing to keep in mind is that you always have to have your car turned off when you're connecting or disconnecting the device so let me uh let me just get it connected up and then we'll we'll uh check back in so here we go, I'm connected. I've turned the car onto the accessory position. You don't have to have the actual engine running to connect or do this stuff. Um, but the device does take a, maybe about 30 seconds to connect. So if you're using this and it takes a long while, don't worry about it. So on the OBD screen, I can now see the system status saying something, whatever MIL is, is on. Codes found one, so that's good, only one monitor and, and there's some monitors and stuff that seem to be okay or not applicable so let's scroll ourselves does this allow me to scroll no of course not so we hit okay and we can see some modules communicating okay here we go so i connected to the first one uh read codes so let's read the codes stored codes sure no codes are stored in the module press the any key to continue Let's see pending codes no pending codes permanent codes no permanent codes well that's interesting so now we'll go back we'll go back again we'll go to the second module i don't i don't know what these different modules are but we'll just check each one Stored codes, aha! Throttle actuator control motor current range slash performance. That's what that says. P2118. Interesting. So let's uh, see, does that tell us, tell us any more? No. So th that's an interesting code because um, it, that's some sort of connection between to the throttle and um, I have noticed that since these codes started throwing that the car seems to be uh, I don't know what what you would call it but kind of accelerating differently <laughs> than normal <laughs> maybe a little worse um, so I'm gonna hit save and then continue no well, there's no continue so I'll go back let's see if there's other codes on here no pending code, no permanent code. Oh, okay, per that's a permanent code, whatever that means. And then we'll go back to the modules. We'll check the third module. No codes. No codes. No codes. Okay. Okay, so since there's only this one code showing and I've now recorded it so I know what it is, I'm going to uh, clear it and then see if it comes back after driving a little while. So I'm going to go to erase codes. Erase trouble codes. Are you sure? Uh, not really, but okay. Erase done. 
So now we'll go back to read codes. No codes. Okay. All right. So let's uh, disconnect this thing, start the engine, make a little test drive, and we'll go from there. So after clearing the codes, I started the car. So far, nothing. So this is a good thing, I guess. Uh, I mean, there could be still an underlying fault, and that's important. Um, but let's see if it uh, recurs um, on a short drive. Let's go. So far, so good. So I've just driven down the highway about, let's see, about uh, seven kilometers and no codes, no problems. I had it up to 90 kilometers per hour and I was even, I did cruise control. There was somebody ahead of me, so I checked out to see if the uh, adaptive distance thingy on the cruise control worked and it seemed to work. So I think the sensors are all fine and if that code is related to the is indeed associated with the throttle motor which I assume would be activated when I'm on cruise control it doesn't seem to be a problem now it could be an intermittent problem or a problem that means uh, it's about to fail completely which would be horrifying but uh, at least I don't need to get it towed to the to the dealer so that's good um, yeah so we might be fine so there we go. I hope this video has helped you to uh, at least not panic when your codes uh, start rattling off on your dashboard about everything and, uh, and its brother failing. Um, in my case, at least, uh, the, all of the codes but one disappeared overnight. And uh, even the one, at least I was able to determine what the actual, the, the precise code was that was causing the issue. I was able to clear it, at least so I didn't have to see this, this giant wrench on my, my dashboard. And uh, yes, I will be going to the dealer to have it checked out. You should not disregard these codes, in, in my opinion. Um, if they pop up, that means something that was something was detected. So please do check out your codes, but at least uh, hopefully this has helped you um, get, get through the trauma of seeing all sorts of codes on your screen. So a quick postscript to the story. It's been a month now and I haven't had any problems, no recurrence, so all, all is good. Um, but a few little interesting tidbits. So that whole problem had occurred right at the beginning of a long weekend, of course. So I wasn't able to go into a Honda dealership or anything like that to have it looked at. So I called right after the long weekend, told them the story of what had happened and what I had done. They thought that was appropriate. As we discussed it, I mentioned also that I had had a uh, oil change at a third party uh, place. Uh, a few days prior to these codes going off and they they asked if they had checked the air filter and I said yes they did but they didn't change it uh, and they said aha so it is possible this is just a theory because it's hard to prove but it sounds like when they changed that oil the, the air filter or took it out and looked at it and put it back in again that some piece of debris might have got into the, the into the throttle uh, past the air filter essentially and it, that might have been what caused the the basic 2118 code to come up. And what they said is sometimes one of these codes come up, a whole bunch of other codes come up at the same time because the computer kind of correlates all these codes together. So it looks like that's probably been the issue. I've actually changed the air filter since then and no codes came up. So all is good. Um, so again, I hope this helps you to overcome any anxiety when all your codes go crazy on your car for no apparent reason and the performance of the car is not too terrible. Now, as I mentioned, my acceleration was a little compromised, but uh, yeah, after clearing, clearing these codes and waiting overnight, everything seemed to clear up just fine. Thanks for watching.